here we are this is the passion red honda jazz yeah and this is the latest color that is uh, introduced by honda malaysia this jazz has a 1.5 liter engine and this is the standard jazz of v spec so the price of this car is 83,633 ringgit and uh, it carries a naturally aspirated 1.5 liter engine and uh, drive is to the front wheels through a constantly variable transmission or CVT okay this is a small uh, subcompact uh, hatch the wheelbase is 2530 mm and the total length of the vehicle is about three point something meters yeah very short and small little vehicle and it's a hatch it seats five people and uh, with lots of space for luggage okay let's have a look inside the car to get into the car is very simple all you gotta do is put your hand there and it opens up and here uh, this is the inside but before that let's have a look at the engine yeah to remove to open the bonnet okay here you see it this is the 1.5 liter uh, Honda IV tech engine okay it's a single overhead cam and uh, it's made of yeah you can see at the bottom there it's all aluminium in fact uh, nowadays building cars is all about reducing the weight here you see the engine mount connector to, from the engine mounting to the to the engine body itself there is this is also aluminium and you can see here the intake is this good quality hard plastic yeah and so is the top cover here all this is plastic that's the throttle body and if you look behind you can't see it but this is the shape of it that's the drive by wire system yeah so there's no direct connection from the accelerator to the engine yeah it's a sensor just wires like a like a your ps4 okay that's the ecu for the car it's kept at a very high place and uh, for malaysia this is good because look look at this one this is the intake intake pipe it goes into the engine yeah? this is where the air goes into the engine to be to help the fuel to burn that's the air cleaner area okay intake area and uh, so this will be very good in the flash floods that we have in Kuala Lumpur so the height is quite high so if the water is up to here you should be quite safe lah. okay if it comes here it starts to get hairy so but up here there's you might get some water stuck inside yeah so make sure the water is up to here maximum you can cross <laughs> all right because there's so much floods nowadays you need to know how good your car is yeah to go through the flood so as you can see also inside the fender they have uh, taken away some of the metal you can see the black part and the the, the the red part where the paint is well that is to reduce weight so the CVT transmission is down here engine is the other side okay so you can see here they have done quite a good job uh, if you look at orientation of the engine, uh, the engine is here and the gearbox is here and the driver sits there. So this car is made for a right hand drive which we are in and so they put the heavy gearbox on this side and the engine slanted to this side so it will help to balance out the weight left and right which also helps to explain why the car handles quite well. Okay. So looking under the bonnet, you see there is uh, some insulation here, which is good. And this material is very nice and thin. It looks like aluminum, but I'm not sure. Yep, it feels very light. So it probably is aluminum, but I have to reconfirm that. Okay, along to the sides, you see 16-inch uh, wheels and the v-spec is the only one in the entire range of uh, jazz that has 16 inch wheels uh, well it has certainly helped in the handling 
because we climbed up the hill just now and the tires are looking nice and tacky yeah it's gone very nice so you can see where we used right up to the edge uh, this is a 18565 sorry 18555 series tires and you can see inside there those are ventilated discs okay you can see the groove in between yeah and it's uh, quite a big caliper single pot floating caliper this ventilated this in the front and over at the back it's a drum arrangement and you can't see very well inside but I can it's the torsion beam okay so whilst we are still outside the car let's go around to the back so you can see here there is a the C pillar is uh, incorporated at the back and there's no boot so this is the tail end of the car somebody doesn't want me see, doesn't want me to say backside okay this is the rear side of the car and it looks pretty nice with a nicely contoured boot it's not flat yeah flat makes it very ugly there's a rear wiper and uh, okay you can open the boot from here and this is the rear area there is uh, 300 over liters of uh, storage space but if you put the seats down you get 800 over uh, liters okay this is where the tools and the jacks are there is no spare tire for this car all right then uh, you can see that the rear seats do um, split and fold and here is the rear seat I want to show you something this car has got the ultra seat if you look under the seat there's no nothing there yeah? there's you can see the hand that's the handle and here's how we're going what we're going to do we're going to open the seat pull this and look down here what happens the seat starts to slide forward and down i'm going to put the seat down okay the headrest is up and there you go so you can see now let's look from the back yeah so you can see now there's a flat surface that stretches all the way to the back of the front seat and similarly this seat can do the same okay so that is what the ultra seat is all about it actually the front part of the seat actually moves forward and down together with the mechanism okay and let's lock it it's locked and here's another thing okay here's another thing you can do uh, I had I only have one hand but actually you just pull up the seat and then you lock it down by using this push it down and it will lock up there and look at the extra space you have you can put in a potted plant if you want yeah this is the ultra seat that is unique to Honda okay to put it down you just have to lift this one up and it goes down there you go okay let's see if we can do it with the camera in view you pull it up then you push down this lever to lock there you are okay that locks it this unlocks it and allows you to put it down there you go wonderful piece of engineering simple but very effective okay let's look inside the car inside here you see a cup holder econ button but let's start the car up you just need to put the key anywhere on your body step on the brake so when you step on the brake look at the the engine start stop button lights up just press the button and we've started okay and we have the aircon on aircon is a single uh, stage aircon yeah this is for the temperature uh, fan speed higher fan speed this is for the temperature down here you see uh, power outlet okay uh, something here for you to put your knickknacks two bottle holders and over here okay there's some camera equipment here the seats are cloth material yeah but they have contours so they hold you quite well 
uh, made for bigger size people than me but it's okay if it suits me if it fits me i'm about average yeah average fat <laughs> Uh, if, it, if it fits me snugly, anybody bigger than me would have some issues. Okay, this one is uh, it's hard plastic but textured tastefully. Okay, just remember this is uh, still a AB segment car, yeah, and uh, so cost is still very important. Yeah. And here's a drink holder, which is not bad. They have it here, but not on the Civic, on the city. I wonder why. Okay, let's uh, look at the meters. The speedometer is in the center, and then there's the green e icon button. Remember, when you press the icon button, look at the left meter. When you press it, it's on. That's your teacher how to drive economically. You want to try to keep the light on, yeah. And how you throttle will tell you how. Uh, the thing will indicate how well you're driving in terms of eco driving. A ref counter is in the on the left, and the ref limit is about six thousand seven, six thousand eight. It's past six five, but below seven, the red line. Yeah. The speedometer says two twenty. I think this car could maybe hit one eighty, one ninety. Yeah, or maybe even two hundred. We don't know. Haven't tried it yet. And here is the information uh, readout uh, it says my average fuel consumption okay, put uh, yeah there was block there's some glare my average fuel consumption is 8.3 kilometers per liter and we have gone 76.8 kilometers okay so 8.3 kilometers per liter is roughly uh, uh, <laughs> because i'm idling here the fuel consumption just went up it's now reading 8.2 so it's something like almost 12 point something liters per hundred actually it's not bad if you watch the video of us driving the car you will understand why i say it's not bad the way we were going yeah i think it's better to look at things from the back end okay so i'm sitting at the back part of the car <laughs> back part of the passenger compartment okay that's the steering and the steering controls there yeah? the left hand side is for the radio and on the right hand side is your cruise control down there at the bottom on the left under the steering is the phone controller and on top you can see the silver pedal that's the minus pedal and then that's the plus pedal so this car comes with pedal shifters which increases the fun element okay so that's the overall look for the driver's cockpit you can see the engine start stop button and uh, you can see the console that's a 6.8 inch screen and uh, the surrounding area is piano black so this car is quite simple nothing fancy but quite classy okay ignore the camera equipment okay you will see this is the you can see the airbag there and that's one and down there where the top of the louver right in the center of the screen just under the camera that's the passenger airbag then up there you have your side curtains yeah that's three and on the right there's one more so that makes it four and also you have another side curtain at the back up here okay maybe you can't see it yeah you can see it there that's another side curtain airbag so this car comes with six airbags and for the price of 83,000 not bad okay what's missing is a rear aircon uh, vents it doesn't have it but what's good is there are four oh my god handles <laughs> four okay so uh, and also the the seat belt anchor here is adjustable for height. You can go up and down, yeah. So similarly for the passenger. So that's an adjustable seat belt height anchor. Okay. The seat controls are mechanical. Okay. So you have height and you have rake and also the four aft adjustment is from here. So overall, the car looks 
really nice and this is one of the popular selling models okay so did i mention the engine horsepower I, if i didn't i'm just telling you now it's 120 ps and 145 newton meters of torque and there you have it guys this is the honda jazz 1.5 uh, auto or CVT. All right. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for our driving video too. Bye-bye